I'm here with Bobby Sambita, owner of Conrad Business Results, and she's going to share tips that will help you clarify, simplify, and achieve your vision for success. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Crystal. How so are you? Great. Sounds like you've got some amazing tips to share with us. Well, you know, we heard one earlier, and that is that every entrepreneur needs a peer group. Ah, yes. They need that encouragement. They need that support. They need that kick in the seat of the pants. They need like-minded people to draw them out of themselves. So they definitely mm -hmm. need their peer group. They also need a good coach, okay. someone who's going to help them play at business the best that they can possibly be. Good and stuff. the third thing that they need is a good system. Mm. That's where I come in. Oh, <laughs> systematize. All yes. right. As an EOS implementer, I get them to focus on six critical components of their business. Mm -hmm. And in doing that, we achieve what we call vision, traction, healthy. Okay. Making sure that they have one vision, crystal clear, so they know where they're going, how they're going to get there. Traction, that the tools and the system that I bring to bear uh -huh. will help them become more disciplined and accountable in achieving every part of that vision. Okay. And healthy in the sense that, you know, leaders don't always share. They don't always collaborate. It's just not in their nature. They sit in their seat and they just command and lead, right? So yeah. we want the team, we want that leadership team working together as a cohesive team yes. so they can get more out of their business. And what we say is, as goes the leadership team, so goes the rest of the organization. Yeah. Eventually getting that much more clear, that much more manageable, that much more controlled, and dare I say fun and profitable. Ooh, fun. Can fun, fun and profits business. Mm -hmm. together, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to this vision piece. Mm -hmm. And you know, I remember learning in um, business school about a BHAG or the big Hairy audacious, audacious goal. goal. Mm -hmm. um, do you kind of go in line with something like that, or are you thinking more? I've heard some new some new terminologies and some new definitions of what a vision is. But what does a vision really mean for a business, and how do you create one that? I mean, it sounds like it's one of the most important pieces. So how do you Completely. create a vision? That we really we drives? take a very broad view of it. So mm -hmm. every good vision needs to answer eight questions. Uh -huh. So we get we work with the teams to make sure that they know what their core values are. Mm -hmm. Now before everybody groans about core values <laughs> because they've become trite, right? Yes. Every MBA program back in the '90s said you must have core values. Yes. Well, they're more important today than ever before because it helps you define your culture of your organization. Mm -hmm. And it actually de determines who the right people are that you wanna play with every day in your business and work with sh side by side in your business every day. Yeah. So we say, what are your core values? And then what's your core focus? So I'm sure you've all watched Simon Sinek's why program, right? Yes. Well, the, our core focus is all about what's your why? What gets your blood pumping every day about what you do in your business? Mm -hmm. and, and then what do you do? What, is, what do you do with superior skill, your niche? That's your core focus. And then the big target, that core target, that's your BHAG. That's mm -hmm. your big, hairy, audacious goal. Where does this organization go? So when I step on this ship with you and I'm sailing across this water, where are we going together? Uh -huh. So it's going to create alignment with the people that you're trying to attract to your business. And it's also going to make sure everyone knows what that big thing is in the, in, in the horizon. But while I love the work that was done on the BHAG, uh -huh. it's just too big and hairy and audacious a lot of times and not measurable enough. So we really yeah. like to bring it down to the ground and make sure it can be big, it can be hairy, it can be really, really big and hairy and, and wow, right? Mm -hmm. And make the hair go up on your arms, but we want it to be measurable. I want it to be smart. So okay. I want to say, you know, I work with my teams to help coach them through that and, and to come up with a really smart goal from there. And then the other piece of it is we want to know their marketing strategy. We want to know their three-year picture, visualizing what the company is going to look like in mm -hmm. three short years, taking that 10-year target or that big target and bring it down to the ground yes. so that we can not only visualize it, get people to see it and feel it, because we can get them to see it and feel it, we can get them there that much faster. Uh -huh. But then we also then bring them into their annual plan with their one-year planning. We create a 90-day world of priorities for them. So we're getting employees engaged because Employees today in business, we've got about 13% of our U.S. employees are engaged in their businesses. That's such a small percentage. It's so that means horrible, most people Crystal. go to work and they're like, I don't feel like doing it. Complacency. But yeah. the problem is it's, it's not their fault a lot of times. Uh -huh. It's we as the leaders aren't doing a good job of making sure they know how, they're, where they're, how they contribute to the organization, mm -hmm. what the big picture is in our organizations, yeah. and getting them aligned with that and bringing them in. There's a lot of wasted potential in organizations today. Yeah. 
So once you have, you know, that vision, that plan all put together, how do you keep it going and keep communicating it within an organization? I feel like that is the most challenging part. Yes, it is. It is. Well, we have something that we call the meeting pulse. Mm -hmm. And our meeting pulse is we have an annual meeting pulse. We have a quarterly meeting pulse, and there's a weekly meeting pulse. So this weekly meeting pulse is a game changer. It gets companies meeting, gets leadership teams and departments meeting 90 minutes a week, okay. and at least 45 to 60 minutes of that 90 minute meeting at a leadership team level is doing nothing but solving issues in the business. Okay, so real it's, problems. It's real solving. problems, and we're yeah. baking accountability into that meeting, making sure that people have to-dos, that they're doing those. We're measuring one of the components in the system is data, so we're making yes. sure that people who are accountable to certain numbers in the business mm -hmm. are reporting in on whether or not they're being hit or missed. Uh -huh. The goals that they've decided, the rocks, if you will, that they've adopted for that 90-day quarterly uh, period, they're reporting in on whether those are are on track or off track. Okay. So it's alive every day, every week. Keeping it moving. Yes, keeping yeah. it moving it's in like the company every day. It's like having a regular Friday date it's like in your relationship. You have date night. Always have date night and make sure it's on the calendar. <laughs> Absolutely true. That's yes. why it's a system. It's yes. not just one piece. It's a very holistic view at the business. Nice. I love that. So it sounds like this is not a campaign. This is an ongoing thing. Totally. And, you know, to continue that conversation and have that vision. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing those amazing tips. I hope you use those in your business. Thank you very much.